Hello. I came to buy a coat for myself. I heard your store sells one of the best. Yes, we have a wide variety of collections. You can see the collections there, and the trial room is beside it. Good, let me go check out. This is wonderful. It suits me so well. What's the price? We are offering a 20% discount. So this will cost 600. Wow, that's a great deal. This is going to be my go-to fashion store always. That's why my store name is, Customer's Favorite Fashion Boutique. I am glad you liked it. Husband, how is business today? It's good. God has blessed us abundantly from the time we opened the store. Many people come searching for our store. Yes, God has truly blessed us. I am sure our competitor in the opposite street is losing customers. Jessica, it's not right to be happy if others are losing business. We need to pray for them too, that they can also be blessed. Well, okay. Damn, I don't see much customers these days. My competitor is getting famous. I see lots of customers at his store. Let me go stand outside the store and try to call on the customers. Hello, sir. Do walk into my store. There are a variety of collections. Nah, I buy them always at the opposite store. Bye. Damn, that big fat pig doesn't want to come to my store. Let me try someone else. Hello, ma'am. To check into my store. We have variety of collections. No thanks, the opposite store is my favorite. I decided not to go elsewhere. Besides I am not looking to buy a dress for myself right now. Well ma'am, do you know something? The cat on your head stinks. Thoughts rude of you to say. Yes, go away before I kill it. Don't show your face near my store, if you can't buy from my store. Stupid people. They don't even bother to see my store. I am getting angry. I need to do something quickly, or I will end up closing my store. Well it's my competitor's store owner. Let me see if I can talk to him. Hello sir, aren't you the owner for the opposite store? Yes I am. I know you own the store over there. Yes, can we talk? Sure. So, how is business? I hear you are doing very well. Well yes, by the grace of God and his blessings, we are doing well. How is your business? Not good. Not many customers come into the store. I don't know why. I offer more discounts like you do. But there is no sales. I am sorry to hear that. I will pray for you. Hope you get better sales soon. Pray? Okay, whatever. Okay, I need to take left. It was nice talking to you. Okay, bye then. Damn, he looks so happy about his business. I need to do something to his business. Or I won't be able to survive. Let me think. Hello, I heard you can perform black magic on people. Are you the one? Yes, I am. You have come to the right place. I am the greatest black magician in town. But you don't sound like one. Don't go by my voice. I can destroy businesses and kill people. I have done this to more than 1000 people. I have destroyed families too. Cool. That's exactly what I need. I have a textile store and my competitor has taken away all my customers. I want his business to be destroyed. I see with my third eye that he is a faithful Christian. It is difficult to cast spell on him directly as he is surrounded by angels. Yes, I heard him speak more about God. So what is the solution now? I have an idea. He will need to sin against God and cheat his wife. Then the spell can be cast on him. And how can that be done? I will send a woman to him. She is good at alluring such people. Once he falls for her, then he will grieve his god and that will be an opportunity for me to perform loss to him. But this will cost 800 for the task. You need to pay me beforehand. That's a lot of money. But okay. Good, she will be at his store tomorrow. Hello ma'am, how can I help you? I need to buy a shirt for my boyfriend. But after looking at you, I have dropped the idea. What do you mean? 
I mean, you are handsome. You are lucky to be attracted by me. I am sorry ma'am. I am already married. Furthermore, I am a Christian. I want to be faithful to God and my wife. Ha 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 ha. You are foolish to be missing a beautiful girl like me. Let me make you feel good. Excuse me. It's not good what you are trying to do. Probably you don't fear God. Now stop speaking about God. Jesus died for your and my sins. Repent and confess your sins and intentions to him and he will forgive you. I can't take it when you speak of God. Please stop. I can't take it. Your intentions are evil. I knew it in my spirit. God is protecting me and my family in this store as well. Your intentions won't come to pass. I can't stay here anymore as you keep exalting God. I need to run away from here. What happened? Why did you come back from his store running? If you ever send me to such a godly person again, I'll send the spirits to kill you. We can't do anything to him. Did you see how a child of God is preserved? We read about Balaam in the Bible, who couldn't find ways to perform black magic against Israelites. Our lives should be pleasing to God, for God to preserve us. Bible says, Surely there is no enchantment against Jacob, neither is there any divination against Israel, Numbers 23 verse 23. We who are spiritual Israelites can claim these promises, and God will preserve us from all evil powers. God bless you all. Subscribe for more inspirational videos.